Okay, I've got Karen's alto ukulele ready today. Um, she bought one last year that was spruce and maple and strung high G, and she needed one that was strung low G, and so we thought we'd also go for a little darker voice, so we did spruce and walnut. And uh, she came up and picked out all the wood. We had a good time with that, but then I took over and had a good time playing with symmetry and asymmetry with uh, this wood set. So the back and sides are walnut from Gobi in Portland, and I was able to get like perfect symmetrical book match. Not perfect, you know, nothing's perfect, but a good symmetrical book match on that. And I actually decided to try to book match the headstock, which I did as a piece of walnut, but it's so subtle you can't really tell <laughs> from back here. But it was a lot of work and it looks really cool to me. It's just kind of a secret, I guess. Um, and then for uh, the rest of the instrument, it's uh, made of Oregon spruce, this nice wide grain spruce. So obviously I had some fun making the top um, have the grain lines look symmetrical as a good book match, but then lay it out so the knots are asymmetrical. That's just me being playful. And the spruce neck, a little maple stripe down the middle. I love how over here you can see it looks like a good book match, and then over here it swirls itself off into asymmetry. I really like how that looks. Um, so yeah, walnut fretboard is brass markers, spruce neck, spruce top. lightweight um and i bet it's almost as loud as her spruce and maple but it's got the walnut gives it a little darker tone and the low g sounds great um so yeah this is 457 this is the first january instrument the first instrument of 2020 to go out cheers